And the country music queen, Dolly Parton, is 76 years old and nowhere near slowing down. She told me she still has a lot of dreams, and as always, she won't let anything or anybody get in her way. Here's more with Dolly. The same boat with a lot of your friends, waiting for the day your ship will come in, and the tide's gonna turn, and it's all gonna roll your way. Working night to five. Talk about the movie nine to five i remember watching that movie as a little girl and loving it because i loved you as a little girl as i still do today i've watched that film as a grown woman now and it resonates differently while making that film dolly did you have any idea the lasting power that it would have no how can you ever know a thing like that at the time you know jane fonda had the idea to address a you know that whole issue of equal pay for equal work and women's rights and all that and uh, i had never done a movie before i had been offered things and i thought well uh you know i took this one because it looked intriguing and i thought well jane and lily are such big stars if it's a hit then i'll take i'll take credit with them if it's a failure i'll just blame it all on them <laughs> It was uh, it was just a special time. My very first movie, like a first love. No matter what I ever did after that, there'll never be another nine to five. Yeah, no, it's a it's a true original, that's for sure. Um, while also preparing, I was watching interviews with you from years ago. Uh, surprisingly, a lot of the times it was other women who were interviewing you, and I found the interviews to be a little patronizing or condescending at moments. And Dolly, I was admiring you and how you handled them and your composure. Uh, as someone who has a short fuse, whose co-anchor reminds her daily, be more like Dolly, I'm telling you, it's what we say to each other. How did you keep your composure all of those years ago and continue to do so now in every situation? Well, I am, uh, as I often say, I'm comfortable in my own skin, no matter how far I've stretched it. <laughs> But actually, I just know who I am. I know what my my gifts are, and I'm thankful for them. And I know what I will and won't do. I know what I can and can't do. And so I'm just content with who I am. So if someone wants to tear that down somehow or to make a mockery of that, I let them know that I'm more aware of that than they are. I admire that very much. I also read that you had a list of dreams, and once, once you accomplish your dreams, you go out and find more. So I have to ask you, Dolly, what's your next dream? <laughs> well, you know, it's like I often say, I wake up with new dreams every day. I don't really know what it's going to be. I want to have a, you know, great cosmetic line. I want to have a line of wigs. I want to write more songs, do more movies, produce more things. Maybe even have my own network where I can produce and, and bring on other shows. So I just have, uh, have all these great opportunities. And I just, I wish there was, I wish we had that clone like we that dolly the sheep that they had years ago the first clone <laughs> was named dolly i wish we had a few of them now i could kind of send them out here and there and do this and that forget working nine to five you're going to work 24 7 and if anybody i can do. do it dolly it's you we thank you for joining us here in miami and please know that on a daily basis over at my desk i am told to be more like dolly and i find that a huge compliment we really appreciate your time well that is a compliment thank you so much i'll talk to you later you have a happy Happy holiday season. Merry Christmas. Thank you, See Dolly. See you on the show. Don't forget to watch the show.